Good day everyone. Here I'm going to explain about a possible interview question. Uh, the question is, I hope you can see the topology on the screen uh, and see that the subnet mask between R1 and R2 is 1.0 subnet slash 24, 2.0 series slash 24, and 1.3. That means this and this is same. Okay. So the question here is, will R1 be able to ping R3 E0 slash 1 interface that is 192.168.1.3 assume that there is a default route or any, any, any dynamic route of, of your choice even after that will R1 be able to uh, ping this interface if your answer is yes please continue watching it. If your answer is no, and if you need an explanation, please continue watching it. So the correct answer is no. Because R1 and an RT are of same subnet. Okay, so for R1, 1 dot series is directly connected interface. That means it will not be checking beyond, beyond that in the routing kernel. What it send is it will send an R broadcast. Let me show you through the Wireshark what it sends. Okay, so let me. Uh, this is R1. Wireshark is already running in my topology ping 192.168.1.3. It's not responding. Let's see what happens in the packet level. Okay, can you see that it's sending an ARP? Who is 1.3? Who is 1.3? Okay, so zero in, in layer two frames, you can see broadcast FFFF. C is the, uh, this is the source MAC address. This is type, which is ARP and ARP resolution. Okay, IP address is this one. He's asking target mark address as we don't know, or the client doesn't know the, what is the layer two information. He is keeping at zero, zero, zero. So it is sending a basically an ARP request. Okay, and as 1.3 is not here, the packet will be dropped. Moreover, the router will not forward the broadcast packet. It will drop, router breaks the drop, uh, 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 broadcast domain. So it will drop that broadcast packet. So when it tries to ping, R1 will not generate a ping packet itself. R1 will be sending a broadcast packet and it will not get the MAC address. The packet will be dropped there itself, that means echo request itself will not be generated in R1. Hope this is clear to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to write it down. Thank you, thank you so much.